Hi guys, it's Jess here. Um, I'm just going to start in this new rifle that we've got with the new scope that we've also got. Um, this is a Tika compact tactical rifle. Dad's had it all set up and I believe you guys have probably already seen the video for that hopefully. Um, if not, check it out where he gave a bit of an unboxing and a review of both the rifle and the scope. Um, the scope that we've got on there is the Burris XTR2. So that's their tactical range of scopes. Um, and yeah, the rifle's the compact tactical. So we'll be using this as a bit of a crop protection rig um, set up. So a lot of spotlighting, night shooting, um, a lot of like high frequency, if that's what you would call it, shooting, <laughs> where you're shooting um, a lot of things within a short amount of time. So we got the rifle with the heavier barrel. It's a 20 inch barrel, um, so it's a little bit shorter than your standard hunting rifle, which is good, especially for us for spotlighting, because you're getting in and out of cars and stuff like that and in thick bush and things, so you don't want to be banging a barrel around all over the place. We got it in the stainless because it's just long lasting um, and I think they look pretty cool as well with the stainless barrel. Um, it is threaded, the barrel. So if you are in a place or a position to have a suppressor on there, you can do straight from the factory. Um, yeah, other than that, the scope looks amazing so far. Um, I just had a couple of shots out of it then just to see what it was like before I started filming um, and it's shooting quite low which is understandable because it's got um, higher rings on it um, but otherwise practically smack on for left and right at 50 meters so we'll see how we go it shouldn't take us too long to get this sighted in it's also got a distance adjustment knob i don't know what the fancy name for it is <laughs> that they would call it but i've got it set at 50 meters at the moment because i will get it sighted in on that 50 meter target that you guys can probably see on the far whatever side of the screen, I don't know if it's the left or the right, <laughs> but whichever side of the screen it is, um, it'll be that closer target anyway. And then I'll pull it out to the 100 meters um, to get it finished off and just make some final adjustments and make sure it's all good. Other than that, um, it's got the tactical turrets on the top. Um, so yeah, easy to make your adjustments for windage and elevation and stuff like that on the go. If you're into that kind of thing, um, longer range shooting and stuff. It's also illuminated. So it's got a knob on there, which is the same as your distance knob for I'm sure that these are not what they're actually called, but anyway, <laughs> you've got that for um, adjusting your illumination as well, which will also be really handy for the kind of shooting that we do. It's got a 10 round mag in it um, that's fully metal, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, really handy for crop protection and the shooting that we do. So anyway, I think that this is going to be a really good setup and so far I haven't had anything that I could fault on it. It is crisp as to look through the glass itself and it also works on first focal plane which if I'm being completely honest I actually don't really know a lot about what that means. Dad did explain it to me a little bit while we we're at home um, but essentially what it means is when you zoom in you're actually zooming in on the reticle as well so somehow that is great but <laughs> you'll have to excuse my ignorance um, because I'm not really sure why. <laughs> But it looks really good looking through and even the illumination I found on we've got a couple of scopes that are illuminated um, and I have found with the illumination that sometimes it is it gets a little bit fuzzy like right on your spot like it's not it doesn't seem all that accurate because the glow around whatever's illuminated whether it's just a dot in the middle or whether the lines are illuminated in your rect reticle or whatever it is it gets a bit fuzzy around it and so it makes it hard to actually be very precise when you're aiming um, but this one is like so so crisp like even if you zoom right in with your illumination it's like right on the line and really thin so it's really bright and easy to see but you maintain that kind of accuracy of the lines being really fine on your actual reticle adjustments and stuff so anyway enough of me talking let's um have a couple of shots and see what happens at 50. I um I'm gonna dial it up a couple of clicks to begin with straight away because I already know, like I said, from those first couple of shots that I took that it's shooting probably a oh, foot and a half, two foot low. Um, so <laughs> I'm gonna dial it up a little bit and then uh, and then we'll have a go and see where we're at. <coughs> All right, you need to jump down. The I dog needs to get back here. Mom, I, Chief. A, I made a knock. All right, so for, I don't know if you guys can see my face now, for hearing protection, um, I've got these Walker's Silences earbuds. They're Bluetooth earbuds and they just go straight in your ear. Um, they're electronic ones, so it feels just like your um, standard, you know, those little ones that you squeeze up the foam and you just put them in your ear. feels like that, but they're actually electronic, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. 
I have to get my sides right. You got a left one and a right one. Just like you got a left and a right ear, babe. <laughs> they come with a little app that you've got um, on your phone. And you just pair to it. And then you can change your volume and stuff straight from there. So now I can actually hear things. Um, and then they charge in the case that they're in. So I think this holds like three full charges, I'm pretty sure. Um, before they'll go flat again. Plus you get to look like like Prince Leia, Prince, Prince, Princess Leia. <laughs> but you know, your nice little ear dongles in. So let's go a full, I'm gonna go four. All right, let's see what that does. Couple of shots. Let's go and have a look. Let's see what we're doing at 50. Are we on the paper yet? Does not look like it. All right, so four is well and truly not enough. So hopefully you guys can see that. So these are the first um, six shots that I took, just mucking around at the start. Uh, and these are the next four that I just took then. So I've moved up probably an inch, I reckon. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know inches very well, but <laughs> moved up a little bit, but not enough, <laughs> a little way to go. So I'm gonna turn it up a bunch more uh, and then we'll have another couple of shots. All right, so I've gone a full turn all the way back to zero, uh, which is like 24 on their little marking thing here. Hopefully, hopefully my logic is correct. But anyway, we've got a full turn around. I'll do another three shots. And then we'll see where we're at on the paper if we're getting close, hopefully. I didn't touch my next board, I could feel that. It's a bit too smooth. Another three, let's see where we're at with that. Sighting the rifles in is obviously important so that your rifles are sighted in. <laughs> but I also really enjoy it. Doing it myself because um, Dad often does it for us. Ooh, we got paper. Um, Dad often does it for us and with most of the rifles that we get. And so coming down and doing it myself means that it actually gives me a bit of range practice and a bit of time on the rifle, which I actually really, really enjoy when I do get to do it. So um, yeah, let's have a look at this. We have hit paper, so still got to come a little bit more up. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's move it up six and see how we go with that. These are one full inch, I, think, I believe, so one full. MOA. So we'll move up six full numbers on the scope and see how we're going then. But as you can see, like left and right, and look at that grouping. Like that's straight out of the factory. We'll have them all there ready to go. All right. So I'm going to take it up to six. There's six full MOAs. Is that how you would say that? I'm not sure. We'll go with that. Another three shots and we'll see how we go. Good boy.
other three rounds. Get that leg out, leave the bolt open. And let's go see how we're tracking. We are losing light very quickly here. Um, it's like some time of the day. I don't know what time. <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but it is almost night time and I'm losing light quickly, but that scope is still staying pretty dang crisp. Um, it's got a big 50 mil objective on it, so it's doing its job as it should, um, taking in as much light as possible, but you can't beat good clear glass for that either. Oh, we're getting close. We didn't quite come up all the way, um, but we're certainly getting, getting there. All right, so six took it up almost halfway, so we'll go another six. Maybe a little bit less, maybe five. Mm, we'll go six. We'll go six, and we'll see what happens. We're almost there. Almost there. Chief, come on. All right, I don't know what just happened there with the filming, but um, I took another three shots, and I don't know if it recorded or not. I'll have to. I'll have to check it later, but if it didn't, I did, all I did was, um, I lost here, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on people. Um, all I did was move it up another six, full MOA. Um, I really hope I'm saying this right, because otherwise Hi, it's going to look pretty silly. Hi, but, <laughs> um, Whatever they're, whatever they're called, whatever they're called. I hope those markings are a full MOA. They, they say a quarter MOA for a click on the top. So I'm guessing that four means full. I mean like a full one. I did, I did do math in school. Um, so yeah, I moved it up six to 12 and we're right on the money, right on the money. I'll uh, turn this around and give you guys a look. Right on the money now. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is move it down a click, I reckon, a quarter MOA. I'm going to move it down, try and get it on that center line there, and then we might go right, just right, probably a, a one click again, maybe two. We'll go one and see how we go, just um, because it was kind of shooting a little to the left the whole, the whole way down. So. Move it over just a tad, and then we'll pull it out to 100. It is ice cold out here. Um, all right, we need some more bullets. We got one little lonesome bullet left. These rounds are Seiko rounds. They're 55 grain, 223 rounds, game head. Um, bring it. I'll bring it closer, I'll bring it closer so you guys can see. Um, so that's what we're using. I'll include uh, details for that in the post I put together to go on Iron Hunter. Um, I suppose, suppose I could give you a look at the round. Um, but yeah, just a little soft point tip. Is that gonna focus? Maybe, there we go. So yeah. <laughs> now, what did I say I was gonna do? I was gonna bring it down a click, and then I was gonna bring it right. really much of a muchness at 50 to be honest with you. Brought it a little bit over um, but it hasn't changed the up and down too much that one click so I might go another click down and then I'm just going to pull it straight out to the 100 meter target over there and jump onto those targets and see how we go. Oh my fingers cold. All right now hopefully you guys can still see that target not that it really matters I mean it's not like you're going to see the bullet hit but anyway let's go. That's 
three shots. Let's go for a walk down to the Hundy and see how it went. Still a little high, but I think our left and right is pretty sweet. I really need to pull my groupings in. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> three shots. We're almost there. What else I was going to do? Move it down two clicks. And left and right, we're just going to leave for now. I'm pretty happy with left and right. <laughs> we're right on dusk and starting to lose light. And I might grab the camera actually after these three shots and try and give you guys a look through the scope and see if you can see how well um, it's still coming up with light and whatnot and how clear it is. Oh, my dog. Chief, come. Good boy, sit. Pull my grouping in. Felt a little bit better about it. I was doing my breathing a little bit better, but anyway. Still a little high, so I don't know. Come down. Two clicks and I think we'll call it a day. Because we are losing light and I'm Mom. gonna start losing fingers. <laughs> but that's pretty good. So come down two clicks. And we'll see what we're doing. Oh, I was going to show you guys through the scope. So that's on my six times through the scope. Oh. Well, this is a lot harder than it seems like it would be to line this up. There we go. Now that we're done with the world's worst version of that, <laughs> We'll go back to um, shooting. Ah! Baby, please don't do that, mate. really should have started out on a new piece of paper but there are my three shots so I'm off again but it's just getting too too dark to try and get my spot right on the on the red diamond but anyway we're doing pretty well there those three were the last three shots so we're gonna stick with that and get the stuff and heck out of here forgot to take my targets off the paper off the board um, I'm going to have a couple of shots at the gong quickly before I leave, but mostly just because that's a lot of fun um, and I like doing it. And then we'll get the heck out of here. But anyway, that is sighting in the Virus XTR2 on our Tika CTR compact tactical rifle 223. So I will, um, once I edit up the video and put it up on I Am Hunter, I will include in the article links to that stuff in case you wanted to get it for yourself. Um, and I'll also include info for the Seiko rounds that I used, um, like I said, 55 grain rounds. Um, when I was doing my thing right, they were shooting really well, as you could see by some of those really, really tight um, groupings. Anyway, so thank you for watching um, and make sure you check out, just a second mate, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, I hope that that was helpful for you guys or at least interesting um, and if not I'm, I'm sorry that you watched it all. Um, yeah, check us out on Instagram and Facebook under Hunt Shack and make sure you jump over to iamhunter.net as well to check out any new tutorials and articles that we've got posted up there um, for you to have a look at as well.